So first of all, let's demonstrate where our collision problem is coming up. Um, so we, well, I have a look at my portal. I take a really big running start, right, and go like, oh, straight through, and it didn't register that collision uh, due to both the speed of the speed of the camera and the the length of the collider. Of course, if I go through very slowly, it works absolutely perfectly. So l l let's let's jump in and uh, have a look at how we can fix that in our script. We're just going to go to camera controller. And we're just going to add a little speed scalar value. All right, so we just create a public float. Give it a range, so we get that nice slider action going. And we'll go 0.001f and 2, or 3, why not? And we'll make our float uh, speed. Uh, by default, maybe it can equal 0.1f, like that's uh, 10 centimeters per render frame. All right, I'm going to grab all of this, all of this information. And I'm going to create a new vector three. I'm going to call it velocity. Velocity. And that's going to equal a new vector three uh, with all that with all that information uh, from our translate. And we're just going to multiply it by, by our speed. So however far, however long it was, it'll be uh, ten times shorter once we apply this apply this value to it. All right, now we can jump back into our code and we'll hit play. And now I'll be able to go as fast as I possibly can and it'll every time, no matter what, go through. All right, now there's one more, there's, uh, actually there's, yeah, there's two more things I want to demonstrate. Uh, the first thing I want to demonstrate is let's go to our main camera. Just make this obvious. I'm going to change the clipping plane to 30 centimeters, which is the default. That's just uh, in the camera, this camera uh, component. And... I'm just going to hit play and I'll find that sweet spot. That sweet spot where, oh, I can see the world and then, oh, it's black. And then I keep going and it's, you know, and then it's, and then it renders again. So we can fix it, fix that one by going to our portal script. Oh, by the way, I'm not using this international. This was our old script, so I'll delete that one. All right, go to my portal script. And what we're going to do, like I said, is we're just going to, instead of checking, see when we figure out whereabouts our our, ca our camera is relative to the portal, we're going to add in front of the camera its clipping plane length, its near clipping plane length. So it's going to compare against that, that position rather than the camera's actual position. So let's create a, let's create a new vector 3 to make things easier to read. We'll call it uh, world pause. And that's going to be uh, device position uh, plus uh, the device's forward vector device dot forward oh what did I do there device dot forward multiplied by our camera dot main dot near clip plane and that'll give us a float of how far ahead it's uh, rendering our scene and now we can just put in this uh, our, our pause is going to be the uh, the local position of the portal uh, local position of the camera relative to our portal. So we we'll just put in world pause there. And um, yeah, now we can go ahead and demonstrate that one. So we see that's still that 30 centimeters. And now I can go really close and it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually go to that completely black spot. But you do notice that that flicker still. It's only one frame, or maybe, I don't know, it might even be two frames, but it's like, yeah, yeah, you get that, still getting that flicker. So that's what we'll solve next. And we'll go back into our script. We're going to create a new bool. Call it uh, has collided. By default, that'll be false. All right, on trigger enter, we're just going to say has collided equals true. And uh, we're going to change this on trigger stay to on trigger exit. And we're going to take all of this, uh, all of this functionality in our on trigger stay, and we're going to move that into a into a brand new function. And uh, all right, so in our on trigger exit, we're going to make sure we turn off has collided. So it's like on trigger enter has collided, on trigger on trigger exit uh, no longer collided, and then in our render update loop, our regular update loop, that's when we'll do our uh, uh, our material update. So has collided equals false. 
in on trigger exit and I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call it a, a while while uh, while camera colliding. I want to make it look different enough from our uh, the the ones that the ones that Unity call, the functions that Unity calls for us. All right. And so all I want to do in my while camera colliding, I just want to make sure that if uh, if uh, has collided, if that's not true, then we'll exit. Uh, we'll return. Sorry. So that that's like a that's like shorthand, so that everything doesn't need to be in an if loop. You know, instead we say, "I'll oh, just get out of the function if it doesn't meet our our predicates, our requirements for the function to to go." And then make sure in our regular render update uh, once per frame loop, uh, we'll make sure we call that a uh, while camera colliding. While camera colliding. All right. So I jump back into the game. And you remember we were getting that flicker before. I'm going to go up to the go up to the portal, go on through, and it's nice and smooth, just like we expect. Even going backwards, it still works. And so now we've got a completely seamless uh, portal portal transition. And of course, we can then go ahead and uh, implement this in our in our in our AR uh, AR kit, AR core, or AR interface, whatever whatever the whatever your preference is.